So, nakita nyo yan. Yun, no? Yung tinuturo natin sa baba, that is the 8th floor of the new building coming up. Iba na yung sistema, no? Bubuhati natin yung sahig, kompleto na kagad. That is construction innovation. That is basically what Honeycomb Builders has been doing for the past 45 years. Innovation after innovation to make sure that we can deliver cost-effective inner city housing for the middle class at the best price possible. Yun po ang ginagawa natin dito sa Aniko. Preston Philippines is around 50 plus years already in the construction industry here in the Philippines. Uh, the original founder, uh, the grandfather of the current owner, uh, was the pioneer in terms of new technologies here. Basically, this Lips Lab is also an example of that. In terms of track record with various projects for uh, Lips Lab and Flats Lab, we've done all the strata buildings for Tigas. Uh, basically, those were the first buildings there. And we've also constructed using Lips Lab, Art Center, Lab Center, and other things. With Lips Lab, uh, in terms of uh, compared to conventional construction, it's a lot faster and cheaper in the sense that there will be less forms used. Uh, if you recall, when we're doing conventional construction, each floor, uh, when you're pouring concrete, major forms are required. Then another set of forms for the next following uh, slab. But for lead slab, we only need one set basically on the side because all slabs are prepared and poured at ground level. Secondly, uh, there will be less use of heavy equipment. Uh, if you compare to conventional, there will come a time that we need either boom trucks or cranes to lift the set forms. But for lift slab, if you see right here, all the necessary columns that will be used for the next set is already on the deck of the lift deck. So it will be carried up while the slides are conducted. Secondly, uh, because this is why it's called uh, flat slab because there is no there are no beams. So that's also another set of savings for HPI. Uh, it's designed uh, with regard to safety requirements. It's basically designed properly. Uh, all safety guidelines and rules are incorporated in the design of the slab. And with regards to uh, utilities, all utilities can be embedded within the slab because it's basically 8 inches thick. So, as an example, you won't see any uh, tubes coming up. And it's a basically a savings with regards to mechanical and electrical as well, given that there are no beams. So with conventional, what we usually see is several beams coming up, and when it comes to the beam, it burns. So it's a savings. Well, the reason why we're using a press cone, uh, it's being already uh, tested, uh, they've been doing it uh, quite uh, clean and fast and the safety. Uh, we started using them in our project in the urban block of uh, Lourdes. Uh, Honeycomb Builders is already 45 years from now. And actually we started building homes uh, for townhouses, socialized housing, and then we started. It goes on to subdivision. After the subdivision, we went into student condos, which are uh, being uh, done near the school uh, premises. No? So that's it. And we are using now this uh, press construct on the system, of using it as a structural uh, system. And maybe more of our project will be done by, by the same system. <laughs>